Welcome friends to my kitchen. Here we are one more time. And today I have something very special for you. I probably made maybe four times and every time I make it, it disappears in my house. It's, everybody loves it. It's coal hawks. Now there's a variation of coal hawks. There's New England coal hawks. There's, um, Rhode Island coal hawks, they're all different and everybody has their own spin. Well, I put those two together and made it into my own. So this is what I'm gonna do it today and I'm gonna show you how I make my coal hawks. Over here, we don't find those, it's not easy to find the coal hog shells. So when I get some, um, I actually got these shipped from back east. And I save the shells. And then what I do is I save them and I boil them and then reuse them every time. Um, because we can't find these big uh, cohawk clams over here. So um, that's what I do. So I'm gonna do, and then if I run out of the shells, because sometimes I make the stuffing in there, I just make them into little balls uh, wrap them in the, in plastic wrap and then I freeze them and then when I want it I just put it in the oven and we can just eat them like that So that's what I'm gonna do for you today. I'm gonna show you how I make my own cohawks And here we go. I'm gonna put my skillet and I'm gonna put some butter in my skillet and some olive oil put some olive oil um, first time I had these was years ago when I went back east I think on 86 85 somewhere in there and I had them and I loved it but you know you couldn't find those, those shells so I never made it and then a few years ago somebody came and brought me some and my kids loved it so ever since I've been doing it. Um, this is one whole onion. And like I said, I'm making extra. That way I can put it in a freezer. And when somebody wants it, they just warm it up and they eat it. Um, and I use uh, the clams that I use is the bubble bee uh, chopped clams. Um, I use four cans of chopped clams, and that's what this is here. And then I also save the juice. Um, I have some, let me show you, I have some parsley. This is all bread, the um, popsicles, sometimes I have left over. I freeze them, and then I uh, put in a food processor, and I make all my own bread crumbs. Also put in my food processor, this is celery. And this is one and a half links of, sh of linguisa, not shitties. This is linguisa. And this is one red and yellow pepper, uh, some malagueta, and some garlic, some Old Bay seasoning. I add that. And then I sometimes if I need more juice, if it doesn't have enough, I'll use clam juice. But this is if I don't have enough from the from the the clams that comes with the can. So I'm just gonna saute my onions till they're a little bit translucent. And I'm gonna add my garlic. And my garlic, I buy the big, um, the big bags and then I put it in a food processor. And I like a lot of garlic. So probably a tablespoon of garlic, chopped garlic. Uh, and I put it in a jar with, um, put some olive oil on top. It keeps them fresh. And I'm gonna put a little bit of salt, maybe about a quarter of a teaspoon, just to kind of um, start uh, sweating that and taking the juices, the sugar from the onion. So it can start almost caramelizing. I mean, what we're doing is a stuffing. Uh, stuffing with the linguista and the clams. That's pretty much what it goes into the, um, into the cohawks. 
And then I'm gonna add my linguiça, cause then it started, and this is not cooked, the linguiça is still raw. It start kind of releasing some of that fat and flavor and everything. And once you have all this, is just adding everything to, to the frying pan and getting everybody a nice, warm, cozy bath in the frying pan. Add my celery. And this is about three stalks of celery. I like the celery. It kind of gives that little crunchy, a little crunch, and it's, it's good. And this is pretty much how I usually make my stuffing. There's one good piece uh, for my Christmas, and then instead of the instead of the clams, I use chicken. But it's about the same thing how I do my stuffing for Christmas, which is coming before you know it. My son had asked me this another day. He goes, "Mom, when are you gonna make that stuff that you used to make it? And you put it in a shell." He couldn't remember the name, so. Add my bell peppers. And I'm kind of just like going to let this, all this sweat. And, uh, uh, and we'll see how, when it's all done. Okay, I put my bread in a big bowl. And I'm going to put the clam juice. And what it is, is it's going to start soaking. Um, that bread's going to start soaking that those clam juice and kind of soften it up. And this is about three pop six, the big ones. I just uh, put in a food processor. Um, I'm gonna add a teaspoon, uh, uh, a tablespoon of um, crushed pepper to that, to my uh, stuffing mixture. I love this. It makes such a nice, easy lunch. Take one of these with a salad. Just make it like, like it says, if you don't have the, the shells, just make it into like little balls. And, uh, and it does, it does good. So now I'm going to put some Old Bay. I like the a little bit of the flavor, the old bay. So half a teaspoon. I'm gonna add to my bread, and I'll taste it. If I find I need a little bit more, I'll add it more. Yeah, I like to do this, and like around Christmas time. I'll take these out, put them in a in a Pyrex, and warm them up in a microwave, in the, in the oven, and everybody loves it. So, and you can make all this ahead of time and freeze it. I just want all this meat, this stuff, soften. Okay. My onions, everything is kind of softened up. So now I'm going to add all the clams. And like I said, this is four cans of clams. So mix all this together. So if I did my, for my um, stuffing for Christmas, instead of the clams, I would add chicken which you can do any time of the year. And instead of Old Bay, use something else. I wouldn't use Old Bay seasoning. That's more for fish. So anyway, this is all done. Better grab something, it's hot. And I'm gonna pour all this on my breadcrumbs. Ooh, it smells so good. It already smelled like quahawks. So 
now I'll taste for salt. I'm gonna chop some fresh parsley, add to it. And I'll taste for salt and see if it needs any salt or whatever needs it. But I'm gonna chop some fresh parsley. So now I, I chop some fresh parsley. I like a lot of parsley. I love to see the little green on all this. And it brings a little freshness to everything. This is a very easy, it can be a simple meal. Like I said, we weren't brought up eating this. all this parsley um some of them instead of the i've seen recipes instead of the breadcrumbs they use the grand um the rich crackers i don't know if it's rhode island or new england one of them they use the the crackers instead okay now i'm gonna taste for salt and see if it needs more salt. Mm. It needs a little bit more. I only put a half a teaspoon. So I'm just gonna put a, another half. Because my pepper has salt. So now you kind of let this cool off because it's too hot. And uh, um, and then you put it in the in the cohox. And I'll come back when it, my cohox are cold. Here we go, friends. My mixture is a little cool. And my cohox. So I get an ice cream scooper. And I find by using the ice cream scooper, it makes a perfect size for these cohogs. And that way, all of them are the same size. And then what I do, I just press it down. And then if I freeze these, if I'm gonna put them in a the freezer, I wrap them in a foil, a plastic first, and then I have them then on foil. And then just keep them in a Ziploc bag in a refrigerator, in a freezer. So, if you have access to these, these shelves, just make this ahead of time. And uh, put it in a freezer. Come into holidays, you already have these done. And... Um, another way that I, I've done too is, so you put these now, now I would put these in a Pyrex, cover them and cook them. The, everything is cooked. It's more to kind of set the, the stuffing, but everything else pretty much is, is uh, done. Um, also find in the stores, you have to be careful to make sure that they don't have no oils. I find these little sh shells and, um, like I said, I boil them, but make sure that they don't have no oils because sometimes they put oils too in the shells and, and then they won't be good. But I use them and I stuff them. But I don't, I don't get worried if I don't have enough shells because like I said, I do them into little balls. I made a small amount today just for the video, but usually I, when I make, I make, I buy the bigger cans of clams. And I'll show you now how I do it. Shells. So I get a piece of foil and some plastic, and I get one scoop, put it on the plastic, 
in our rapid. Let's see. So you see, I wrap it around. And then what I'll do is I'll twist it. And it makes a little ball. You can even warm it up in this. If you warm it up the whole thing in the, in the, in the oven, it'll be fine. That plastic will melt. And this is what I do. I, uh, if I run out, that's how I do it. And then uh, you can take them out of, if, let's say if you don't want to put them in, keep them in a plastic. You can take them out when they're still frozen, put it in a Pyrex, and uh, just warm it up like that. Um, another thing that I've done is I make like a breadcrumb, and, uh, well, and then I top it over these so the top is a little crunchy. But most of the time, this is how I do it. And like I said, keep them in the freezer. My kids love it. And they can just take one with a little salad. And here it is, a nice meal. And delicious. If you've never tried how to make these, try them. They're very easy. And I don't see why not if you make this like a stuffing for, if you stuff this in bell peppers or, why not? I mean, it's delicious as it is on its own. This one's going to be a little bit bigger. Take all of it. Can't waste none of this. And I sometimes make this and then... I'll take it to my kids that don't live around here. I'll take some of this and they'll eat it. They love it. I'll probably need to make some extra for Christmas. So here you have my Quahawks. So now I'm going to put them in a the Pyrex, cover them, and uh, well, bake them for about maybe 30 minutes. Uh, it's more just to set for 30 minutes for the flavors to blend. Uh, set. Here, friend, here's my, co my cohawks that I just took out of the oven. And they're ready for dinner. And I wanted to show you, these are the ones that I did um, in the bags. So all I do is I take the out of the wrapping. Can't waste none of this and serve this with the salad. And here I have a delicious meal. It's a little hot. Oh my goodness. This is so good. You have to try it. It is so delicious. Um, you know, make make quite a little bit, put it in a freezer for those days that you don't know what to serve. Here you have some cohawks with a green salad. Mm. It's so simple and so delicious. And use that leftover bread you don't know what to do. It has a little kick from that malagueta. This is gonna be one delicious dinner. So anyway, sometimes we need to bring things to us if we can't go there. We can't go to New England or Rhode Island to have cohawks. Bring it to you. Make it in your own kitchen. One delicious meal. So anyway, I hope you make this recipe and I hope you enjoy it. Give me feedback. If this is something you enjoyed making it, and if you want to see more stuff like this. And I thank you for watching my videos and all the comments. I really appreciate it and I enjoy it very much. All the, the comments and how much you enjoy my videos. So until next time, let's get cooking. Have a good day.